university lecture i am going to discuss what what is radix parameter in java and how does it works so this is the small point about the radix a radix parameter specifies the number system to use so two that denote binary eight for octa ten for decimal and sixteen for hexadecimal and here you can see so first uh, I'm going to write uh, or their integer. Then if you press dot, then you can write here parse. So now you can see the parse has the uh, two parameter. First is a string, then here integer tab radix. So second parameter is the radix. And this all detail about the radix parse a string argument sign integer in the radix as specified by the second argument okay so this is here radix you can get so now you can also get the radix or there so this is unsigned end and here radix so how's that to uh, radix that work so first uh, thing is here so this is the first part now or uh, there i have taken integer type variable i n 1 here integer dot parse so parse has uh, received two parameter parsint so this is the method so first is a string next is radix okay if you give any unwanted unnecessary or the value that out from the range then that return number for bit exception so first thing here 11 and here this is not due so here this is doing the binary conversion like uh, 11 is 2 2 is the base of 11 so here 11 to then we can write first 1 into 2 and power 1 then after plus 1 into 2 power 0 so power that reduce then if you calculate 2 plus 1 that come 3 now like that 11 and here 8 so 8 is the base a uh, base here so 11 in 8 so first 1 into 8 then plus 1 into 8 power 0 that is 9 the same here this is now decimal so 1 11 10 that come so here we can write 11 in the bracket then after 10 so first uh, thing is first 11th of 1 I am going to take then after here 10 power so this is now power 1 so first power is the 1 then after next is also 11 so next is 1 then here 1 into 10 then the power that re reduce 1 into or 10 then here power that reduce then that come or 0 so if you calculate this one so this is 10 and here if you calculate this is now 10 plus 1 that come 11 and like this 11 is 16 base number and should be converted like hexa so here 11 6 then 1 into 6 power 1 and plus 1 into 6 power 2 so then the value comes 17 but if you are using go uh, this is now or uh, here integer dot two strings so here two strings so you going to write here integer then if you press two a string dot then two then a string so two a string here this also so first part is the integer next part is also the integer so this is integer now you already know the things that here hexadecimal of 11 so hexadecimal of 11 that come p okay so if i run this code so now here you can see So in the last 
there is uh, b is there so hexadecimal of 11 that is b now or uh, this here or uh, you can do like this and this is now the value of or uh, this uh, all 111 so you can calculate like this so 1 1 then after 0 0 1 1 0 close the bracket then uh, here we can write or 2 then first is uh, here so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 is the power so we can write here so first is the 1 then after into so 2 power 2 is there so 2 power 6 we can write then after next is also 1 then into 2 power that come 5 then after or oh, this is now 0 so 0 into something that is 0 then next is also 0 and then after 1 or uh, then after right here plus 1 into then 2 power so this is now 5 4 3 then here 2 then after here 1 into 2 power so 2 is there then we can try 2 power 1 the next is or 0 is there 0 multiply with anything 0 so the value that come there so 2 power 6 so 2 power of 5 that is 32 6 that is 64 64 then here plus 2 power 5 32 then after this is now 4 then here we can write this is now 2 power 1 that is 2 so if you calculate this one so this is now 64 plus uh, or 6 70 and how uh, 70 plus 32 that is 102 so somewhere you can see this is now this value that or returning 102 you can see here 102 that is returning so this is how the radix that work okay and if you give here integer and here this is also integer so this I'm going to convert into or uh, a string format so you should uh, know about how to convert hexadecimal of 11 so hexadecimal of uh, 11 is now the value come b so that here it's returning the b so here double quote 11 and uh, only 11 both are different so this is how the radix that works so you are not only here you can provide to uh, uh, this place the uh, or 10 you should provide here 12 also so if you provide the 12s then how that works so this is now 11 then here 12 so how that works so this is now that, that place 12 come and this place 12 come so now or uh, 12 power 1 that is uh, here that come or uh, 12 then after here 12 power 0 that is uh, 1 1 into 1 that is 1 so this return 13 so let's uh, or uh, save that code and here now run this code so now you can somewhere see this is 13 here that is display so here you are not only here so you should put binary octo here you can give any kind of number and this is how that works the code so this is about the radix okay so what is the radix a radix parameter specify the number system to use so to that is this all and if you give then here you can or uh, this uh, 2 8 10 16 and 12 also and this is the way that code that works and if you give here like integer then another is radix also accept radix value that offset integer okay so if i take uh, the cursor there then you can see radix that accept the integer value so this is here integer then integer so hexadecimal 
so this is now uh, converting 11 into hexadecimal so that uh, the value count that is b okay here b so i hope guys you understand the radix parameter in java so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next to it thank you